Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, it's another beautiful day here in North Carolina. It's the ending of the afternoon. Uh, had to do some more uh, bush hogging here in the bottom land. Uh, calling for a tropical storm towards the end of the week and I wanted to get this uh, area over here that stays wet all the time uh, mowed down because that's where we're tracking through with uh, some of the brush you've seen in the last video. So I wanted to get the grass down while I could. Uh, didn't want to bore you with the bush hogging today. Um, tried to do some inside cab stuff, but with me not having air conditioning, it's so loud in there, I can't really get any good footage. So <clears throat> um, I'll just go ahead and put a disclaimer out front. This is going to be a talking video. Uh, felt it was time to uh, disclose a few things and let you guys in uh, on what my future plans are here at the farm and uh, you know see where it goes from there. Um, Want to say up front before anybody clicks off, you know, thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for the support. Thank you for uh, continuing to follow along my journey here in the reclaim process. You know, I'm uh, about a year and a half into this and um, I get discouraged certain days. I think that I should have more, more accomplished than I do. But you know, my mom keeps, uh, you know, telling me I'm only one person and you guys do the same and baby steps. And we've all talked about that. So uh, I just want to say thank you for the support and uh, continuing to follow along. New subscribers, you know, like I said, if you guys are new to the channel for any reason, uh, I'm reclaiming the family farm here. Uh, been in neglect for years. Uh, the fields are overgrown. I'm trying to get everything cleared off, fence lines up, you know, brush piles made. And I've had a bunch of issues with the bottom land here with the easement. Um, there's some videos on that. And just want to get it cleaned up like it used to be. Um, I might add a clip on at the end of this of a picture that was taken in 1979, an aerial shot of what the farm looked like when my grandfather had cows here. And, uh, you know, after he passed away, it just kind of went downhill and, you know, life took the turns and, you know, it just sat neglected and I hate to see it go to waste. And, uh, you know, the stars aligned, the Lord blessed me with uh, the opportunity and the means and that's where we are today. So, um, as much as I, want to get crops in the ground ASAP I have to just sometimes back up and punt and realize that if I don't do this the proper way and get everything situated the way I need it to before I start worrying about crops in the ground I'm just going to fight it from here on out um, you know I've got numerous pieces of older equipment that need work uh, I've seen some videos on that in the past here recently um, you know hopefully uh, after this video you'll see the drill back together uh, my original plan was to plant uh, Sudan sorghum grass here in the bottom land uh, where they just um, uh, did the easement and go ahead and let it be building up some organic material and just turn it over next year. But, you know, I think I'm past the window. I'm still probably another week or two out on uh, getting the drill situated, so it's about too late. And, uh, you know, corn and soybeans are my, my goal at some point. Um, but there's so many factors that still play into that that I keep saying, you know, next year, next year, next year. I don't know if it'll be next year or not. Um, I don't have bins to put anything in. I don't have a grain truck. To my knowledge right now, the closest um, place I could take any type of grain or corn is well over an hour away with my work schedule and everything else. I just don't know how that's going to work. I haven't checked into anybody hauling or anything. You know, I'm not looking to get rich off of this. Um, what I'm kind of thinking now is just to try to continue on with the fields the rest of this summer while I can, get as much done as I possibly can in between working on the equipment, my grandpa's truck, getting it together, you know, trailers, uh, stuff. I mean, I don't have the planter ready for anything. Um, and just continue on with that and possibly get a couple of the fields ready uh, by fall to maybe do some winter rye or something like that and you know get some crop in the ground if you will and then you know let it put some uh organic stuff back into the soil uh fertilize and nitrogen and all this stuff that you guys do i mean that all costs bukus of money and you know this is more or less a hobby for me right now so i'm doing the best i can with what i have um i don't know i've talked and dabbled into the organic uh farming thing a couple of times tim um i haven't done any research on that yet you know, there's no chemicals been on this property in years as far as on the field. So, you know, I'm still kind of up in there about that. But bottom line is, 
if you guys started following my channel in the very beginning it was reclaim the family farm and that's what i'm doing and that's what i still continue to do today um i wanted to be a lot closer to putting crops in the ground than i am and i hope that's not too much of a deterrent factor for some of you guys that are following along i mean i know i can tell by the views that sometimes you know stuff i do is not interesting um i seem like i've lost a few that uh were in there in the beginning thinking i was gonna you know turn some soil and put some crops in the ground and you know that's still the ultimate goal and we're gonna get there eventually um i just can't put the cart before the horse i mean i've said this numerous times in past videos and uh you know it just it is what it is i mean i'm a one-man band five days a week my buddy comes and helps me on saturdays about three quarters of a day and we do as much as we possibly can um we worked uh, Monday after uh, July 4th, after Independence Day. I was off work, he was off work, and it was just a total mockery all day between the bees and the breakdowns and flat tires and everything else. And that's farming, I mean, I know it is. It's gonna happen, so uh, with that being said, you know, that kind of puts a wrench in the gearbox as far as how quick I can get everything accomplished. So, um, you know, I've got the gleaner, that needs a whole lot of work. Looks like it's gonna be even more work than what I anticipated uh the grain head for it needs extensive work the corn head needs work um so you know if i don't get to plant my staple crop if you will for next year uh i just don't um i'm going to put something here that's going to continue to you know help the place uh i just it's useless for me to try to turn up any fields right now because i'm still all over them um, i haven't got a field completely finished uh yet I mean, hopefully some of the videos you've seen up on the hillside, you kind of see what I started with here before I did YouTube. And it, it's just, it's amazing how far I've came in, in, you know, in a year and a half, but I still have a whole lot more. Now it's kind of down to the short rows as far as the stuff that really is time consuming, the uplifting the limbs and, you know, pushing brush quarter of a mile because that's the only place I have to put it. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. So basically, I just want to take a few minutes, um, try not to get too long-winded here, and just say, please hang in there. Um, you know, the reclaim process is everything that I do. Um, buying equipment, fixing equipment, trying to keep it going, uh, working with what I've got. I work a full-time job. You know, I have a wife at home. You know, thank goodness the kids are grown, but, you know, I don't have bukus of money to dump into this, and it's definitely not profitable right now. It's just a big you know sinkhole for money if you will because you know fuel and time and repairs and everything else there's no benefit or no return on that but if it wasn't my passion or my dream then you know i would probably give up on it because it does cost a lot of money to do this uh, especially clearing um you know you've all talked about the brush piles i mean i wish i could set up set them on fire and it would make the place look so much better it would be so much easier i can't due to my location here on the farm you know this is the only piece of land with this kind of acres left probably within 20 or 30 miles of here in this county i'll put it that way i'm in the city limits and uh you know there's just certain things you can do and certain things you can't we can't burn brush here um you know i'm blessed with the fact that i've got the loader and uh, making it a whole lot easier than just a chainsaw and a bush hog you know like we started out with i'm blessed that i've got the 1086 and it's still doing good but you know just like today i mean i spent two and a half hours just mowing grass basically just to keep what i've already cleared under control so you know, that's where we are um but uh i'm probably repeating myself several several times here you all know i don't do good in front of the camera you would never believe that as much as i talk but i'm trying to watch the timer we're still under nine minutes right now i'm sure there's nobody here still watching but bottom line i don't know what next year is going to hold uh as far as getting crops in the ground corn and soybeans i still have so many avenues to travel down and so much more to do um so you know if that's a deterrent for you on the channel and you know you're not interested in what i'm doing i totally understand but i felt like it was high time that you know i'm not going to tiptoe around it anymore that you know next year's planning is probably just going to be something to help the soil i don't think it's going to be anything that i'm really going to be able to harvest and store and sell and do that unless you know something else happens over the winter but there's just so much left to do i just don't know that it'll work out so um but we're going to keep dredging on uh, every day i love it i haven't lost any interest in it at all you guys are supportive you know i love that i love the conversation the advice and i lean on you guys a lot for advice some of you uh, big time farmers have been doing it all your life i listen i take notes on your videos what you tell me what i should do and i really appreciate that more than anybody knows um because one day that's going to come to come to pass here so um i think i'm going to try to cut it off right here at 10 minutes so um 
again thank you everybody for watching please consider subscribing if you hadn't already you know hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see thumbs down i understand it's not for everybody share the videos get them out there might be somebody else interested in this you know what i'm doing here it's a daunting task by yourself but if i can do it anybody can do it if you've got the heart you got the passion the drive will come along with that to do it uh, sometimes the bank funds don't follow but you know we might do the best we can so um, hopefully i'll get you some better content but just want to give you a heads up on what was going on right now and any questions or concerns or anything please drop them down in the comments i'll i try to answer all the comments and be as open as i possibly can about anything i'm doing we'll see what happens until next time thank you